Hey guys, if you just watched my short little review of the uh, of Chris's enhanced blades for the Proto X, um, thanks for that. That's my first ever review of any RC part. Um, obviously, it was very sweet and, and to the point. You know, um, I do reviews and some of my other hobbies, um, and they just take so much time. I obviously didn't have time to do any sort of you know professional quality review. Um, I just wanted to show something that people could watch in a few minutes. Um, and actually see and hear the performance difference for themselves. Um, so I hope you found that informative. Uh, what I'd like to do now, if I could just have another five minutes of your time, um, I'd like to show off these chargers, um, which are something that I'm working on building. So, um, you know, if you have a lot of these batteries and you need to charge them a better way than the uh, stock, possibly battery powered, uh, you know, AA powered or USB powered chargers that you get. Um, this is a really safe charger to use. Okay, first off, if you um, convert your uh, Proto X's over to take larger batteries, um, one thing that you need to do is throw the stock charger away. I'm not kidding. Don't just set it aside. Actually throw it out. Um, they are very unsafe. The only reason that there aren't accidents that are happening with stock units with the batteries, such as vent with flame, um, which, as you probably know, is just a battery industry term for an explosion, because that's what it is. It is an explosion. Fire comes out. You know, it is a very bad thing. There are super poisonous gases come out. Um, the only reason that doesn't happen is because the stock cells they're protected. There's actually um, a couple, there's a IC and a FET that's under this tape right here. Um, and they actually, it has overcharge protection, so it cuts off at 4.2 volts. But if you use a battery like this with the stock charger that you just plug in right here, um, you'll charge your battery to greater than 4.3 volts. You know, and that's basically about the worst thing you can do. Um, overcharging is actually even worse than over discharging so um, do not do that please for your own safety you know I'm not uh, this isn't even a product that's ready to sell yet so I'm not just trying to take your money uh, for your own safety please do not use the factory charger with the aftermarket battery so now that I told you about that little warning let me tell you about the charger um, this is the unit actually this is the unit right here with no wires attached um, it comes stuck with a uh, micro USB port. That's the new style, not the mini, but the actual new Android phone style. Um, I say new, but it's you know it's been around a few years. Um, this one here, I've modified to use a different cable that I specifically wanted to use. Um, first off, I'll tell you the price point on these is going to be five bucks, and that's with it set to the current that you desire, ready to go. Um, so at five volts in there's a wide range of power options you can power it from a portable battery bank this runs on 18650s you can get all sorts of these different battery banks I happen to really like this one if you're looking for fast tech um, you can also of course plug this in to a USB wall adapter or to your computer um, and then another option um, hopefully we can get this done for about two dollars more um, this is a five volt one amp wall wart so you can just take it with you, plug it straight into the wall. Um, the current on these is selectable from 70 milliamps up to 1200. This one here, let's see, I have it set at 130 milliamps. Yep, that's what that says, can't read my own writing. Um, it'll work for uh, ICRs, regular lithium ions, or um, lithium polymers. This one here is set to 100 milliamps. Um, you can set them wherever you want by swapping out this tiny little um, 0603 sized resistor right here. Um, no, I'm actually using an 0805 because that's what I had. However, um, factory is 0603, but they fit on the pad just fine. So um, you can control the current out that way. Now, obviously, if you're going to do anything over 1 amp, um, this plug would not work. Uh, because it doesn't output enough current so keep that in mind you know if you want to charge at 1200 milliamps you need to ensure that your power supply um, can supply that oh also while I'm thinking about it the uh, another powering option for these things is you can run them from 4s um, 
nickel metal hydride double A's like in loops or other high performance um, low self discharge double A's. Um, so that's just another completely portable carry around in your pocket option if you wanted. If you had a little 4S pack, you could wire it straight in there. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to say about them. Um, Let me show you. Oh, they come. Um, I add these pigtails. Um, I also add the socket too. This one you can see it doesn't have any socket wired on it yet. So the pigtail goes to these uh, little batteries which is the stock size from the Proto X so you can use the stock batteries red means charging um, blue means either no battery connected or it's full and then um, these are the batteries from my uh, WL toys and a slightly larger heli um, and they fit straight in here um, there are other you can like I said you can charge any lithium battery you want with that um, well, not any. Any lithium ion 4.2 volt or any lithium polymer 4.2 volt. Um, so you could use like magnetic leads or alligator clips or however you want. But the way that we're going to be selling them for $5 um, is with a setup like this. And we'll hopefully have different pigtails that you can choose from. Alright. Um, so look for this. We hope to have these for sale um, around the first of the year. You know, um, both of us have families. Um, I'm really busy. I have three kids. I'm not sure how many Chris has, but um, it's obviously Christmas time. So we'll get these done as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, these are great little chargers. They never, I've never ever experienced them miss termination. Um, always gets it dead on at 4.2. Um, and the, you know the selectable current is just a great little thing. If you can't solder SMD, um, that's no problem. We'll offer that as an option um, for the same price. You can choose, you know, basically whatever current you want.